I do. I got a long catalog of shows, like a very, very long catalog. Oh, okay. But dude, somebody just tried to book me for a show right now, actually. Oh, that's nice. That's crazy. But yeah, so I'm on tour with Baby Tron. Well, we got a couple shows together. Here. The one that's uh, coming in March? Yes. Okay. March 12th at the Armory. So I will be there. <laughs> yeah, we got some stuff going with him and then some stuff. Yeah, it ain't know. that I can't stop. Nope. It's that I won't stop. Go. I made a few plays off a of flip. Now I'm on top. Jeez. I'm Southside Chief, homie. Yeah. What you know about it? Lake Street Legend CEO. Not the co founder. What you wanna know about me? I'm so churched up. I'm the last man standing, but I went first up. Most hated, they don't say it when I roll up. No. The things that people say about me, they don't say close up. Check it. I ain't been to the booth in a minute. Check. Niggas hate the fact that I'm winning. Yep. I'm on Lake Street, yo. When you popping in Minnesota, you gotta go check it out. Facts, okay? we gonna be on that joint live on motherfucking Lake Street, man. Yeah. I, I don't know how to say it. Say it. Say it. Say it. We have another episode live on Lake Street. It's your girl, Lady Shug. And today we have an independent artist by the name of Kona Bands. Hi, Kona Bands. What's the word? So, um. Tell me more about yourself. Um, so, a little bit about me. Um, I'm an independent artist. Mm -hmm. And not only that, I got a label coming soon, CBE. Oh. So it's certified, Boss is Eden. So for more independent artists, we signing all mm -hmm. 2024. So okay. that's coming soon. Okay, that's and really And just a little story, like, I started rapping when I was, like, probably 11, 12 years old, maybe mm -hmm. 10. But I kind of, like, I don't know. I always liked it to be like in the cut, not really the publicity type person. Okay. So I kind of like took a little break when I was like, I say 14, 15, and kind of got to being a teenager. Yeah. And got into a lot of stuff. So I kind of just, you know, took a break off the rapping. Still rap, but didn't really take it serious as I should have. But mm -hmm. after that, I just had a kid. Oh. So I got a three-year-old now. <laughs> okay. So I'm 20 with a three-year-old. So I had a kid young. So that just taught me a lot. And I just took that and used that to build me up as an artist and just take okay. it more serious and do it for my daughter more than just the okay, fame. Okay, so you got and a the, baby girl. That's yeah, nice. So. That's what's up. My son is three years old as well. So That's what's up. Definitely understand from a shout-out to all the mothers and fathers out there. Yes, yes, yes. Um, If you could describe yourself in three words, what would it be and why? All right, so we're going to take this quick break real quick to highlight our good folks over there at the Kitchen by Baked brand inside the global market. They got some of the best food out here in the Twin Cities. One thing you got to know about me, I don't really like go to the mainstream spots. I'm all about the little mom and pop, little neighborhood spots that have the best food. Next time you're out there at the global market, you got to check out the stuffed turkey leg. They got this butter sauce. We're talking about the best wings in Minnesota. It's happening right now at the Kitchen by Baked Brand inside the global marketplace and their proud sponsor of Live on Lake Street. Peter Parker! I see. Charismatic because I'm a talkative person, people say, and I just I know how to speak and I know how to use the correct words to get the things that I want. So some people call me a narcissist. Oh, but oh man, really why is that? Just, I don't know. I guess it's just because I keep it real sometimes a little more than I should. So. Mm. You know, things go how they go, but can't really be mad at life. You just got to keep going. Right, so, understandable. No matter what people say. Like, people done tried to throw jackets on my name a thousand times, but it's like, you know, that ain't oh, nothing to I me. I can relate. <laughs> I know the real, so it don't really stress exactly. me much. You know what I'm saying? I'm still sitting and back real, where I'm sitting. And the real you know the real. Real, 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 real recognize you know, real for sure. So. Still, still sitting in, you know, where I'm at. So, uh -huh. you know, I let life play how it plays. And so... But another word I would say is a hustler, for yeah. sure. Okay. Because, you know, I I started my first T-shirt business at 11. Oh, yeah. So I think that's something big because for the youth, I go to schools and do mentoring, me and my dad. So okay. for the youth, you know what I'm saying, 
me being young and doing that and going to Silicon Valley at 14, being in the newspaper, you know what I'm saying? Having the mayor sitting down with me at breakfast, you know, coming oh, to yeah. get me from school yeah. and we going to sit down and have lunch, you know what I'm okay, saying? So it's nice. like I done did stuff that's different. So being around a lot of youth and the stuff that's going around outside now and where we at in the trenches, you know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. I'm from the trenches for sure, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Born and raised. So it's like just showing them something different, giving them something different. Fair so it's, it's cool to be a hustler, but it's how you hustle. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. just showing them how to do that. Because gotcha. it's easy to say it, but if you don't got somebody to show you, then, you know what I'm saying, it's just saying it. Yeah. So, and then third, I'd say, I don't know, there's so many words in the dictionary. It's <laughs> words out of a dictionary, you know what I'm saying? So I don't even know if a third word I just say, I don't know. You know what I'm going to say? Real. Ambitious. You give me ambitious energy for Thank sure. You. For sure. So that's the third word I would give you if I could. <laughs> okay. We're gonna go with ambitious. All right, ambitious. All right, bet. All right. See how any um shows coming up? Yeah, so I do. I got a long catalog of shows. Like a very, very long catalog. Oh, okay. But dude, somebody just tried to book me for a show right now, actually. Oh, that's nice. It's crazy. But, yeah, so I'm on tour with Baby Tron. Well, we got a couple shows together here. The one that's uh, coming in March? Yes. Okay. March 12th at the Armory. So I will be there. <laughs> yeah, we got some stuff going with him and then some stuff in Sacramento in February 6th. And mm. then I think it's San Francisco the 7th, I believe. But then I think I'm here with PZ the 24th, I believe. He's coming the 24th of... This month, I think. Uh -huh. Or some with Peasy. I know that for sure. Okay. But I'll let y'all know soon. Just got to stay in tune on the IG. I got yeah. you. But okay. let's see. And then March, I'm on tour with Mob Ties. So oh, okay. I got like three different genres that I'm going with. It's crazy, but we're going to make it work. So... Yeah. yeah, busy at your age. That's good, though. That's really good. Got to be busy. And then you're doing the positive. You're not the controversial drama nah, type of rapper. The, like, you know what I'm I saying? I mean, you people really try it. You know what I'm saying? Course, everybody going to try you. You know what I'm saying? Regardless. Like, Next. everybody expect me to, you know what I'm saying, come on here and just talk crazy. But it's like, <laughs> I'm trying not to, you know what I'm saying? Just Fact. just to give the youth, you know what I'm saying, a different different look on life. Like, it's not always about the, you know what I'm saying, the back and forth, yeah, it's cool for the clout, but you know what I'm saying? My stuff in a million insights on Instagram, so I don't really need the clout, you know what I'm saying? So, why Facts. talk about beef when I'm trying to prevent that for the youth, you know what I'm saying? So Fair enough. Is there any um, Minnesota artist you like to work with? All right, so one time for the homie Jeremy Eggert. We're taking a quick break to talk about his website, Artwork by Jeremy. I know you've been really selling yourself short on the graphic design tip. We need to step up the website. We need to step up the flyers. My man has international clients. He can do all of this for you. He can make your content look fantastic. Thumbnails, anything for the gram. He got you covered, okay? Stop selling yourself short. Step your life up and tap in real quick with artworkbyjeremy.com. Peter Parker! Mm. Honestly, I don't know. Because it's like, it's cool to work with an artist, but mm -hmm. it's like everybody got their own thing going on. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like, me, I'm the type of person, I don't like to surround myself with people that got their own, you know what I'm saying, stuff going on. Like right now, I'm... I'm working with some artists, uh, SMO Jack, uh, what's his name? Jimi Hendrix on um, IG, but Fast Life Jimmy, they got some shit coming 1 a.m. in Minneapolis, so stay okay. tuned for that. That shit gonna okay, be hot. Okay, bad. I'm definitely bro. going to. I ain't gonna lie. But other than that, them the only two people that I really, you know what I'm saying, locked in with right now. Like, we mm -hmm. got some, you know what I'm saying, SMO Fast Life band stuff we're working on together, like the album we putting out together, just us three, like on some... We ain't the Migos, but we come in <laughs> a little hard, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, so definitely. Like, that's that's a good that's a good but, little collab, so it's so fair enough. We got some stuff, you know what I'm saying, in the works. But other than that, I don't really, you know what I'm saying, surround myself with artists. Because it's like, fair enough. it's cool when you hot, but it's like, why are you hot? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, it's cool because you get a lot of views, but that's because you dissing 10 people. 
You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, so yeah. it's like, like, like I said, the controversial I, drama rap. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, now you're trying to get yourself into that. I put myself in that position and I'm trying yeah. to stay away from that? Like, Fair I'm, enough. I jumped off the porch at like 10, you know what I'm saying? Right. So it's like, I was going to the 4th Street in the clubs at like <laughs> 12 years old, 13, you know what I'm saying? I was oh, at man. the 2 at 14. So yeah. it's like, I done did all this, you know what I'm saying? So I did that young and being around people that's. I probably shouldn't have been around, but <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I yeah. was because that's how I was. I was a hustler, you know what I'm saying? I, I got up at 6 a.m., go beat the block till 10, you know what I'm saying? Right. So it's like I'm used to that, but it's like getting away from that and being a positive influence for the people that's under me and that look up to me because I got a lot of people that's – I got more people that's positive looking up to me than the people that's negative pushing me to do things that I shouldn't be doing. Facts, You facts. know what I'm saying? That's so. understandable. So it gotta make how sense. about any like video photographers or mm. producers you like to work with? Honestly, y'all, whoever want to work, you know what I'm saying? Mm. It's like I ain't that type of artist that I ain't going to work with you. Like I charge 3K f for shows, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. 1500 a feature. You want to work? Send let's your work. deposit, let's work. You know right. what I'm saying? It's like if you're going to pay that ticket, then we, you know what I'm saying? We could work. But it's like I did so much and been around so long, it's like. I have to charge. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. And a lot of under, a lot of artists, you know what I'm saying, don't understand that. It's like you just getting in this. Yeah, you getting, you feel me? You might get 10K views. You might get 20K views. Mm. But you just started doing this. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like I've been doing this like half my life and I'm only 20. Like, you know what I'm saying? Literally half my life. 10 right. years. Exactly. Literally. So it's like, damn. <laughs> I've been doing this so long. It's like I, I can't, you know what I'm saying, sell myself short. You got to so charge your worth for sure. When I go sure. to these cities and I do these shows, I'm coming with artist merch. You know what I'm saying? I'm coming with my security. I'm coming with team. You know what I'm saying? Behind me. So it's like I'm not just that independent artist that's just new to this. Exactly. Like, I've been doing this. Like, I brought Polo G and G Herbo here when I was like 14, 15. Really? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, me and my cousins. Okay. It was their birthday party. Their dad was a promoter. You know what I'm saying? I for my cousin. Big cousin. You know what I'm saying? But, bro, like we been doing it. A long, right. long time. So it's like being around all that and I don't, I don't just being in that, trying to stay away from it is hard because it's mm -hmm. like you got all these influences to do what yeah. you shouldn't do and do things and get in things you shouldn't be in. So I don't know. Life is just life. Got to let it play out. Yeah, that's fair enough. Most definitely. So. All right. Do you want to um, say anything else? Um, or is there like a fun fact I should know about you that other people don't know? I could dress for sure. <laughs> so you're into fashion? Very much well, into fashion. Well, I mean, fashion. you did tell me that, you know, you were making your little clothing line. Young, at, so it's at like. At a very young age, so. Yeah. yeah. And then, like, I don't know. My child's mother is just, she gets me into, like, the, the real, like, you know, stuff like this. I don't even wear this type of stuff. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm the. I'd rather go buy me a bus down Cartier than go spend, you know what I'm saying, on some valid basses. I don't, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, sometimes you got to put it on. Right. Fair so. Fair but other than that, I just dropped a little album. It's called Mr. Outspoken. Okay. It's going crazy. Then I dropped a single called When We Pop Out. That's going crazy. And they can find that so. on Spotify, Apple Music. Spotify, Apple Music, okay. everything. Good, good. So. Go follow me, Kona Bands, all platforms, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Everything. Then IG, Kona underscore with that bag. Okay, so. sounds good. So that was another uh, episode of Live on Lake Street. I am your girl, Lady Shug. You can follow me on Instagram, lady.shug. It ain't that I can't stop, nope. it's that I won't stop. Yeah. I made a few plays off a of flip, now I'm on top. Jeez. I'm Southside Chief, homie. Yeah. What you know about it? Lake Street Legend CEO, not the co founder. What you wanna know about me? I'm so churched up. I'm the last man standing, but I went first up. Most hated, they don't say it when I roll up. No. The things that people say about me, they don't say close up. Check it. I ain't been to the booth in a minute. Check. Niggas hate the fact that I'm winning. I'm yeah. on Lake Street, yo. When you popping in Minnesota, you gotta go check it out. Facts, okay? We gonna be on that joint. Live on motherfucking Lake Street, man. Yeah. I, I, I don't know how to say it. Say it. Say it.